Hey guys, it's me, it's me, it's FFP, and welcome to part two of Flash Fire's Guide to Stop Motion. And in this part, we will be going over the actual animating part of stop motion. If you guys didn't watch the first part, I'll link to it in the description. It's uh, talking mostly about uh, the planning and the setup, such as lighting and storyboards and stuff. I may bring up storyboards later, so if you guys don't know what that is, go check out the first part. I have um, little, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, I, but I have the times listed in the description of the first part uh, linking to the separate sections of the video. Now that I got that out of the way, here I have Aquagon and Stormer. They're uh, two hero factors if you guys didn't know, and these will be the two I'm using to animate with and to uh, demonstrate the tricks and tips and stuff I have that I usually do with animating. So what I will do is that I will start animating uh, a small bit for the end product. Here is the storyboard I have for it, if you guys can see that. And it's, to tell you guys what it is, it's just short. Um, Alkagon's a criminal, Stormer's is like the police, he's gonna take him to jail and they have a, like a little fight, a little fight. Keep it short because this is more of like an example uh, on how this guy will work and all that. And but stop motion animating itself is pretty straightforward, so I'll just cut to the parts when I'm doing tricks and tips and stuff. But before I start, obviously the first tip and trick I can show you right now is planting their feet to the ground so they don't wobble or move. Obviously this surface, this desk is um, quite smooth so they kind of slide around and say if I bang the table they'll move a bit. <laughs> so what you can do to rectify that is that I usually use a uh, single uh, scotch tape. It's clear and if it's on the ground or whatever, and you do have a shot at their feet, it's barely noticeable, unless you got like fingerprints or whatever all over it. Now, I, if I thought I had scissors, I'd get them to cut this. So I will be back, and I'll show you guys what I mean. Hey, hey guys, I'm back, and now that I have my piece of scotch tape, I will just slowly uh, fold it over. You guys know what this is, obviously. You've probably done this before with tape. And I'll plant it on the bottom of his foot. Now you could also use double-sided tape. And I've seen some people use uh, special types of clays. Um, they might work better, but I prefer scotch tape like this. Because then, even though you're stuck to the ground, it's just stiff enough where if you need to move the character a bit when animating, you can. And the tape stays relatively sticky. Um, on bionicle pieces, it's kind of harder to stick tape because the bottoms aren't as a uh, flat or solid so not much surface area but yeah there you go and if you do use clay I'll show you guys in part three when I do editing uh, that you can just go into some kind of photo editor and just erase the clay off but if you are gonna do that here's another tip and trick take a picture of your background without moving your camera just like that cuz for example, now that I have them here back and fighting, if there's, say, a move or a projectile comes or whatever, and you're using a stand or something, or like a string, to hold the projectile up, you can just go in your post-editing and uh, use the background image and then put the image with them and then just erase the stick and the other picture. I'll explain that more in part three. So, without further ado, I'll start animating and I'll be back with another tip and trick I got. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. And now, according to my storyboard here, Stormer shoots his missiles facing the camera towards Aquagon, where then he will dodge the missiles in the next scene, going from one side to the other, dodging both missiles. So, to do this, and to achieve the special effects I wrote down here, I will take one missile, see since they both look the same I can just do one for this, and I'm going to take a picture of every angle that I need. So if I, so if one scene where Aquagon's uh, dodging them, it's going to go like this, 
then I'll take a picture of the back of the missile at differing angles depending on what I need most likely this way and this way because uh, I'm planning on having the missiles go up towards the corners of the screen just so they disappear right and in the first uh, shot where Storm is shooting the missiles towards the camera I'll take it from a more like down and towards angle then this way I'll take it put it into my photo editor erase the background and I'll be left with this missile which I can just copy and paste into the shot as many times as I need in a stop motion esque way to get it to look nice and smooth like it's coming towards the camera so you know I'll have so if it's here if I take a picture of, of the missile I can edit it in and then bam and then we'll go off screen sounds good okay and I'll be back for the next tip okay guys now that I we I just finished shooting a couple more scenes where Aquagon dodges the missiles next on the storyboard it says I'm gonna make Aquagon do a jumping kick at Stormer which he will block and then they'll clash swords a couple times so what to do to make a character look like he's jumping is you know how I said in post editing you can just get rid of something or put something in just by erasing it from the background and having the extra shot of the background there obviously to which you can delete or whatever blah 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 I'll explain it better in the editing I'm losing my words it's like 50 million degrees in here I think I might have a stroke so what you can do is you can make a rig to be able that will be strong enough to lift Aquagon off the ground animate him in the air and then in post editing just get rid of the rig so what I made with bionicle pieces here is a leg pretty much with this little torso piece it has pegs on it so I can easily just connect it onto the back of Aquagon here and it's strong enough where it can hold oh whoops where it can hold where it can hold Aquagon's weight uh, if you're making a rig out of bionicle pieces I suggest you get uh, stiff pieces so it can hold or if you want to make it stiffer or better just add another leg which I was too lazy to do because all my pieces are messed up so see here now that Aquagon is in the air he can do his kick which I can animate storm or block and then there we go sounds simple like that if you're not using bionicles and there's no, like no peg holes in whatever you're using you could also use a soldering stand uh, that's what I heard a lot of people use and if you're using clay you could actually just use more clay like a different color clay so you can tell what you need to delete or whatever so yeah that's that tip and I'll see you guys in the next bit wow okay guys so I just finished uh, taking all the photos and stuff for the video which I will be editing in the next part um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, enjoyed the guide remember this is just an amateur thing I'm not a professional stop-motion animator by all means I'm not um, but I just made this series so you guys could see how I do stop-motion and the tips and tricks I do with the limited resources I have at home here and um, I hope you guys get inspired to or motivated to do stop motion and try it out for yourself these are not concrete practices that I do uh, they're by no means the best way to do stop motion they're my way I do stop motion and I'm pretty proud of the way they usually come out so if you guys want to try the way I do stop motion uh, go ahead that's what these videos are for um, I hope you guys maybe learned something even if you didn't I hope you enjoyed and may I just say wow and my animating skills man I don't know if maybe I just used too much tape but uh, the tape stuck to the table man so yeah and you guys are gonna see that sword clash I was talking about physics out the window there with that kick too so um, thank you all for watching I'll see you guys in the next part Flashfire Prime signing out